Hi, my name is Andrew Geddert. I've been practicing natural medicine for 35 years, and I completed a film on long COVID and natural medicine treatment recently. And today I want to talk about why Western medicine doesn't treat long COVID well and why many doctors don't like treating long COVID patients. Well, the answer in that is that doctors do not like complexity. Doctors are smart, but they're paid to spend minimal time with the patient and they're encouraged by the organizations that they work for is to see the patient and prescribe some medicine and get on to the next patient. And it's very hard to treat conditions like chronic fatigue syndrome and long COVID when you have all these symptoms. As we know, some people have uh, with long COVID have pre predominantly heart symptoms. Uh, other people have predominantly GI or gastrointestinal symptoms, and then other people have predominantly lung or pulmonary complaints. Now, doctors, you know, if you see a primary care physician, they'll say, well, oh, you have long COVID, uh, you should go to a long COVID clinic. One of the problems is, is that the wait for long COVID clinics is, is huge. It can be three, six, 12 months or longer. And then the problem is, again, you're directed at the long COVID clinic to see all these independent practitioners. And my real problem is they have no communication with one another. So to treat a condition like chronic fatigue syndrome or long COVID, it's my strong belief and my experience that you need one practitioner who's going to basically help you um, uh, conduct this whole operation, conduct all the practitioners, and also that you have regular contact, you know, so cardiologists don't usually have regular contact with the patients. Pulmonologists are hard, it's hard to get in to see a pulmonologist. Gastroenterologists can be take months to get in to see a gastroenterologist. So my real problem is this whole idea of specialty silos uh, it, it basically it's a way that Western doctors deal with uh, complex conditions. And I'm an advocate for natural medicine. And I know of very many people who go to herbalists, they go to naturopaths, they go to integrative physicians, and they get help within weeks. It doesn't take months to get help for long COVID. The other reason that Western doctors don't like treating long COVID patients is for the last 20, 30 years, doctors uh, sort of subscribe to this one disease, one treatment model, right? And so because there hasn't been one pill uh, shown to help long COVID patients, uh, they basically say, well, we can't, you know, we don't know what to do. There's no treatment, so I'm not even going to learn more about this. I'm just going to refer to specialists and, and the patients can fend for themselves pretty much. So um, I have said that there is no one pill, no uh, one pill for long COVID. And, and but talking about doctors not liking complexity, there's a licensed pharmaceutical drug in the United States called fluvoxamine, and it's called Wellbutrin. So it's available, but doctors won't prescribe it, even though there's plenty of evidence in Europe and the United States that suggests it's effective. And again, doctors don't want to train themselves in treating long COVID, so they don't know about this development. But if you believe in Western drugs and you have long COVID, why wouldn't you try fluvoxamine? It's a licensed drug, it's manufactured in the United States, and there's some promising research on it helping people recover from long COVID. So there's very few Western options beyond treating the symptoms and fluvoxamine, but there are plenty of solutions in the natural medicine toolkit. So uh, fluvoxamine is an antidepressant. They feel that it works on long COVID because it has anti-inflammatory capability, not because it's an antidepressant, which it is. But I will tell you that fluvoxamine is also an uplifting antidepressant, and that's going to help people with chronic fatigue and, and long COVID. But people want to know what's the natural alternative. The natural alternative is called SAMe. It's a type of methionine that's been used in the United States and Europe for 30, 40 years. It was actually developed about 70 or 80 years ago. And methionine is in everybody's cells, so it's essential amino acid. So this is something that works very well with the body. Now, in Europe, they've particularly found in clinical studies that um, SAMe helps people with chronic pain. 
Sam E helps people with depression. Sam E helps people with liver detoxification. That's wonderful. If you have long COVID, one of the things you need is relief of pain, relief of depression, and you t- you probably are taking a number of pharmaceuticals that can congest in the liver, and so you may need that liver detoxification. So, um, so that that is the natural. If, in my opinion, if you had to pick one natural pill for long COVID, it would probably be Sam E. Now, uh, many of my uh, colleagues practice naturopathic medicine, herbalism, or integrative um, integrative medicine. That is, their MDs, and the MDs particularly, and the naturopaths particularly, like glutathione for just about all COVID patients and all uh, long COVID patients and all chronic fatigue patients. Why do they like glutathione so much? Is glutathione is energizing and also promotes detoxification. And, you know, in people with chronic fatigue and long COVID, they all need more energy, you know. So uh, glutathione is interesting because you can use whey protein. And this is how I begin every morning. I take, I make a smoothie of whey protein. I get about 20, 25 grams of protein. And that helps me start the day. I get energy from that protein. And that protein in the form of whey protein is also good for the immune system. So I'm beginning each day with a shake. I also add something called glutamine, which is another uh, amino acid, which helps the immune system and also the gastrointestinal system. But that's how we begin the day. We have uh, energy, we have liver detoxification. What a great way to begin the day. Now, there are two other ways of taking glutathione. Uh, You can also take the supplement NAC, and NAC uh, basically is shown uh, in US and, and uh, European trials, shown to help with uh, the lungs and also help with uh, neurological and brain function. So uh, it, in my opinion, if you could only do one, I would do either a SAMe or a type of glutathione, but if you can do both, uh, all the more better. So again, we built up glutathione by Uh, using whey protein. We can build up glutathione by using the supplement NAC, which is a type of cysteine. And then the third way we can bring, uh, take glutathione is use it um, in liposomal form or in uh, IV or injection form. So uh, obviously if you get an injection of glutathione, you have to go to a, a integrative physician or a naturopath that's licensed to inject, but people in their comfort of their home, own home can use liposomal. That means you put it under your tongue. It's a it's kind of a liquidy gel substance that you hold under your tongue and then you swallow it. And many people, including myself, find that uh, Sam E and the glutathione is, is energizing. And then if we have more energy, then we can do more healthy activities like get some exercise and engage in stress reduction. I want to leave you with the closing thought that herbs and nutrients work, number one. Number two, they're natural providers that are right now, as we speak, helping thousands of people recover from uh, long COVID and other chronic fatigue conditions. And they do that by looking outside the Western medicine toolbox. They look at what diet uh, can help people with long COVID. They look at what Uh, supplements have been found to help revitalize and restore the gastrointestinal system, the lungs, and and to a lesser extent, the heart. So remember that alternative medicine practitioners not only have different uh, substances, herbs and nutrients to recommend, but they also have different diagnostic capabilities that are unknown or unused in Western medicine. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. This would really help us grow our channel. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.